Well, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Quivs here, Quivs does stuff, and today we're playing a bit more Minecraft, and this time I'm going to actually tutorialize how I play Minecraft, specifically how I build a house and why I build it the way I do, uh, as episode one, and then there will be future episodes where I describe other things like how to build a basic farm, how to build a tree farm underground, so that you never need to come above ground, how to build passive mob spawners, and so on and so forth, right up to uh, custom villages, um, an iron golem farm and sort of end game content but right now let's get into a whole new game so first things first let's actually bring the game up we're going to create a new game and I've done a bit of experimentation to find a decent seed now I'm going to do this on easy the only difference between doing this on easy and doing this on either normal or hard is that I can use a wooden door and you shouldn't use a wooden door because zombies will break it down so either fill your door in with cobblestone or, or some sort of block until you've got a metal door or always fill your door in with cobblestone when you're at home and when you're not trying to actually access the outside world you'll see what i mean i'll describe it again further when i get there when when we're there um so the seed we're going to be using for this one is special spelt weirdly like that um, i am going to change the simulation distance up really high also going to turn on caves and cliffs. So this is bedrock edition and caves or cliffs, caves and cliffs are still in experimental. Um, today is Wednesday, the 3rd of November, 2021. So use that as a guide for how old this video is and how appropriate it is to the version that you're playing on. Um, okay. Now that is everything that you will sort of like, this is a basic survival game in single player. What I am going to do, and what you don't need to do, but you can if you want, is I'm going to turn this into an RTX game so it looks pretty. Now it is just going to look pretty. This will not affect gameplay in any way, shape or form. If you do have a graphics card capable of ray tracing or DXR, if you are on an AMD graphics card as opposed to an Nvidia one, this is the one that I'm using. It's vanilla RTX normals. Um, it's by Cube IR. Here is the Discord server if you want to go and find more information about it. But if you Google Vanilla RTX Normals and Cube IR and put that into the Google search, you'll be able to find these packages. They're really small um, and you can add it to your game by double clicking it literally. Uh, and then the other thing I've got is there's also a patch here for glowing ores. It's a little bit cheaty because in the dark it makes the ores glow, which makes them easy to find. I'm only adding it because it looks pretty. Um, if you feel like it's too much of a cheat, don't add it. The normal vanilla normals pack does not have glowing ores. It's just a patch that I add on top of the vanilla RTX normals. It's made by the same person. Um, it's just something that he added. There are other ones as well. There's ones that makes glass absolutely 100% clear and water absolutely 100% clear which is kind of cool, but it actually makes glass and water really hard to work with, so I don't use those. Right, other than that, that is it. And we're gonna go into the world now and we are gonna begin. So, as we prepare for this, uh, and it will take a little while because it has to load this RTX patch. So, I always build my house in pretty much the same way every time. And one of the things that people always do in Minecraft when they build a world, when they build a house, is all right, I'm going to have to dig a big hole to get enough materials to build a house out of. So I say, why don't you just live in the hole? You've already dug it. You could save those materials for something else and just live in the hole. Now, doesn't that look pretty? Gotta love RTX. Um, it is fantastic on many, many, many a game. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is your standard Minecraft punch wood. Um, because we need tools. You still can't get anywhere without tools. It's not like, you know, there's some super special thing that I do that's massively different. No, the first thing that we do is the same as what everyone else does, and that is punch wood to get together enough tools to start digging a hole with the appropriate tool, which is going to be the shovel. Right. So, uh, crafting table. Now, I assume you know enough about Minecraft to build, you know, the basic bits and pieces like the crafting table and a furnace, etc., etc. If not, you can still use this as a tutorial if you can follow along quickly enough, maybe pause and rewind a few times to actually get an idea of what it is I'm doing. 
but I'm not going to stop to talk about them because that's not the purposes of this tutorial. Right, now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to dig a three wide staircase. Single down staircase rather than the two down staircase. I used to use two down staircase because back in the day, I've been playing Minecraft a long time, and a long time ago you couldn't run up and down stairs. I mean, you still can't run up and down this, but when I make actual stairs and put them in place on top of these, you'll be able to run up and down it. But in the original one, you couldn't. Right, so the way I go down, or the, the height that I use specifically, I'm standing on this stair. There's a gap down there below me. I'm looking at the block directly in front of me, and I'm going to go up one and dig that one out. And then go all the way down, which I'm not going to be able to do until I make myself a pickaxe. So let's go back up and make a pickaxe real quick. Pickaxe. Excellent. And then we go down one. And the lag, of course. Got to love lag. Right. So one up from the block that's directly in front of me. Dig the entire wall away. Dig all the way down until you're one low. Now you want to keep doing this until you're pretty firmly embedded in bedrock. Well, in rock, not bedrock. Uh, bedrock is the special black one that stops you falling out the bottom of the world. Um, no, we're not actually interested in bedrock. You want to be pretty firmly entrenched in stone. And the reason for that is because creepers, they don't do a lot of damage to this kind of stone. They do a bit more damage to cobblestone and they do a hell of a lot of damage to things like dirt. But cobblestone, no, you can go pretty, pretty far um, with cobblestone and stone. Um, basically, if a creeper blows up on stone, it's only gonna destroy sort of the, the local couple of blocks. So if you do make a mistake and a creeper gets into your house or he's at your front door and you accidentally blow him up or allow him to explode, um, you're not going to do as much damage to your house, right? Let's upgrade our tools now that we have enough cobblestone. So grab that and that and more sticks and one of those, which I'm eventually going to need. Right, we've got a few uh, saplings here. So another interesting tip, breaking leaves with your bare hands or with any other block that isn't a tool. In fact, even with a tool, the drops are exactly the same. Uh, the one exception is, of course, if you have a fortune tool, fortune will make a difference. Um, I'm going to place these saplings here because I'm going to want more trees eventually. Um, so we might, uh, it'll be convenient to have those there later. You'll see. Right, I'm going to knock this one down as well because I need the wood. Now, if you're real lucky, as you dig in your stairs, you'll run into coal. Um, and then you can use that to make torches immediately. I've already looked at the seed before and I'm not going to run into coal. So I'm going to have to make charcoal in a furnace. And I will knock these leaves down as well, see if I get any saplings that did get one. That's pretty good. So yeah, you will get the same drops out of this as letting them decay naturally. So you don't have to wait for them to decay naturally if you're in a rush, but you still want everything that it's going to drop. Just do this. Otherwise, you could just stand there and watch it or you know, go do something else and remember to come back. I mostly do that, but I often forget to come back and then I like get to where the tree was and I'm like, ah, oh, I missed out on all the saplings. Um, and yeah, that's a thing as well. So another thing that you should know at the beginning of Minecraft, don't run. You'll waste all your stamina. It's not a good idea to waste all your hunger this early in the game. Now, it's very dark down here at the moment and it will be so. Um, because we are digging down, 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 and we don't have any light source yet. Um, we'll get to that in a moment. Oh no, I do have enough. I was about to say I don't have enough cobblestone. I do have enough cobblestone. Right, so let's go back up and make a furnace, and we'll make ourselves just a little bit. Um, a furnace, just a couple of blocks of wood. And we can do that by using things like this wooden pickaxe. That burns really well. All right, so we'll let that burn. Uh, it'll make us one 
coal, uh, charcoal, which will be enough to make four torches, which will be enough to get started. Right, once you're a little way into stone, you know, there's everything above you is stone as well. That's sort of where I like to be. You can stop going down. So you still go down from the top, but you don't go down at the bottom anymore. So to demonstrate, still dropped one down. But instead of dropping one down here, I'll now stop. Now again, there are many, many ways to make an underground house. Um, you can do it however you like. This tutorial is specifically how I do it because I always do it basically the same way. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dig a two hole there. Why? Because that is going to be my front door. So let's hop back up here. I've now got plenty of stone. So let's make a few cobblestone stairs. In fact, let's just make all of them cobblestone stairs. Uh, and some doors, because I'm going to put in a front door. I've got one charcoal, that's enough to get started on. Turn it into four torches. I'm going to put one on the wall right there. And then I'm going to dig in here one more block. Uh, and I'm immediately going to go up one as well, although I did break the cardinal rule of Minecraft, never dig straight up. Um, but you know, I was relatively sure I was going to be fine. Right, now you can't really see what I just did there, but let me light it up for you so you can see what I did. So I've gone from the door inside. So that's my front door. I've gone in one, gone up one so that it's three high. Now you don't need to go three high either. I just do because otherwise I feel claustrophobic. I like to have an extra space above my head. If you actually don't go three high, Enderman can't teleport inside your house. Um, my house does have the problem of often having Enderman just appear randomly, especially if it's raining outside because they find your house because it's dry and then they hang around. Um, I don't particularly mind every now and again. I just take the Enderman on and get a few Ender Pearls because, well, you need Ender Pearls to complete Minecraft anyway. How are you going to face the Ender Dragon without Ender Pearls? It's not going to happen. So, uh, okay. Now we've gone in three and placed a torch on this wall. Now you actually want to go in two more after that. And that is because every room I make is a nine by nine room. You don't have to do that. It's what I do. It's what I always do. I don't know why. Right. Stairs. So you can sprint up these now. You didn't used to be able to sprint up them. You used to hit them and immediately stop running. So I used to actually use half slabs and go down. Oh, didn't want to do that. Uh, and go down two wide stairs. Um, and then use half slab so you could run up the, up it. But of course they changed that and you can now run upstairs, so I no longer need that. Um, right, we've got two there, that's probably enough. Okay, the sun is gonna start going down soon. So it's time to actually enter our house. Probably got enough wood. I probably won't need to come above ground again for a very long time. Place your door in the doorway. And you now have the very beginnings of your very own Minecraft house. You're extremely safe down here. The walls are extremely blast resistant so creepers can't get through. Um, now, as I said before, if you are playing this in uh, normal or hard, cobblestone, cobblestone, done. That is your, your Minecraft house for the night. On your first night, um, the difficulty is, is that you're gonna have to actually go out to see the sky to see if the sun's come up yet or not. Um, you could dig this one, but you still can't really see. Uh, but yeah, um, if in my case you can use the door, you can stand here and hold shift and be able to see, you still can't see. I thought you could see. Oh, oh, well, I'll have to think that through. There, there, there should be a way to see. Um, normally what I eventually end up doing is I eventually end up putting a, a glass block here, but it'll be some time before we do that. Um, but other than that, that is the very basis of how one makes a basic Minecraft house or how one makes my Minecraft house. 
Now we're going to continue for a little bit longer and we'll show you what else I do to make it more homely. So again, dig out till you're two away from the door. Uh, we're going to want to put our torch in, but we ran out of torches. So now we need to make a bit more. And I'm going to use the doors for this. I think you need... I think I'll get two charcoal. Is it two? Yes. I think you just, just, just get enough. All right. And I can do with more sticks. Make a few more sticks. Uh, and then torches. Excellent. Right. Uh, would have been better if we found coal, but we didn't. So what we've done, if I then also go two out this way after placing the torch, is I've now got a nine by one room. So it's nine wide by one deep. The torches are at the three in from both of the outer walls and in between it is a three space so three wide uh, it's three by three by one no three by one by three because the height is three the width is one we're going to repeat that by turning this entire thing into one nine by nine room and to do that the very simple way you then also go two in now if this wasn't rtx you'd be able to see but because it's rtx and it's it's the way the light works in RTX. It's super dark in there, right? But that's okay. We're still going to put a torch in there, right? So again, one, two, three, there's a torch. Now we're going to go forward three. And that will be the gap, just like where the door is at the front of it. So if we go one more, we're going to place the torch on the fourth one. So one, two, three, four. Dig two more. This space is now a nine by one space. Do it again. Stand it in the corner, dig forward two blocks, place a torch on the wall, dig forward four blocks. One, two, three, four, place a torch. Gonna need a new uh, pickaxe any second now. Right, well that'll be the fourth block, but that's all right, we'll have to go make a pickaxe real quick. There we go. Um, we are gonna run out of wood before morning, I think. We'll see, we might, we might not. There we go. And again, two forward. Oh, we've hit copper. So you see the glowing ores? It's bright, it's shiny, it looks pretty. Um, yeah, so they're not necessary. It won't look like this in your game. It'll just look like the regular copper ore. Um, I'm gonna dig this out eventually, but for now, in the purposes of my room, this would be where the wall should be and where the torch goes. See, one, two, three, torch. And then, one, two, three, four, which took extra long because we had to dig through copper ore, torch, and then, perfect. And then you just dig out all this middle bit. So you could do that however you like. So, this first room, sufficient for everything. Like you don't even need to make this nine by nine. You just basically need to have a hole that you can live in underground where for the first night, zombies can't get at you. Zombies, skeletons, spiders, creepers. You don't have to spend your night running around and fighting. So the next thing you're gonna need is a bed because if you spend too many nights underground without sleeping in a bed, when you do go above ground, there's gonna be phantoms. So, 
would have been really nice if we'd found some iron because then we could make shears but we haven't done that so we might have to actually kill sheep which is not ideal i prefer to just shear them because then you have to go and further afield to find them later when you make a, she a sheep farm but we didn't find them so we're going to do what we have to do and we're going to kill sheep now another important thing that i do and a lot of people don't is iron tools versus stone tools when you get your first iron, the temptation is to immediately make an iron pickaxe and start digging faster because look how quick I can break these blocks. It's a massive waste of iron. Until you have infinite iron, treat every block of iron as super precious because it is. Until you have infinite iron, every single block of iron is really, really, really precious. Don't make iron tools. Cobblestone tools, stone tools will suffice. It doesn't take that much longer to break a block. And cobblestone is is infinite. It's literally infinite. You can, I mean, so much of the world is made from cobblestone. And even if you run out of cobblestone in the world, if you have one source lava block and one source water block, you can make infinite cobblestone. If you don't know how to do that, I suggest you look it up because it's not going to be in this video. It might be in a future video, but it's not going to be in this one. Right. So yes, that took a little while, but now look, we've got a pretty nine by nine room. It's a nice big space that you can do stuff with. Um, I will be digging all of that out in a second. Now, note the center of the room's kind of dark. Believe it or not, due to the spacing of these torches, and there is no other spacing of these torches, no matter where on the wall I put them, so long as they are on the walls, the very, very central block of this room it's actually dark enough for zombies and spiders and skeletons to spawn. It's super weird, but it is. Um, I originally didn't know that. I just sort of, you know, I liked the symmetry of a 9x9 room. Uh, it was better than an 8x8 room because a door takes up one space, not two. Um, so I made a room this size. And then I made more rooms this size. And then eventually I was walking through my rooms. And I turned around and looked behind me. And there was a zombie standing right in the middle of the room. And I didn't know why. It's because it's far enough away from these torches for this to actually be dark enough. So we've got to put a torch either in the middle of the room. You can put a torch in the middle of the room on the floor. You could do this if you so desire. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go one, two, three, dig a hole there, dig a hole there, dig one there, dig one there. Now I don't actually have enough torches currently, but what you would do is fill all of those with torches and then the middle of the room is too bright. Now, one will suffice, and I kind of need a few extra torches. So let's hang on to these torches for now. I really need to find coal. It's amazing that I haven't hit coal yet. When you consider how much cobblestone I've dug out, the fact that I haven't hit coal yet is quite surprising. But sometimes you just get unlucky. So, you know, there's not a lot you can do about it. You deal with it as it comes. Now, anytime you sort of want to dig out an ore, it's a good idea to replace it with something. Cobblestone is ideal um, because it, while not as good as um, as a, as a, a regular stone, it has almost the same blast resistance, so it will suffice. Right, I'm going to put one there. Okay, so now you can tell it's daylight outside because the zombies are getting hurt. Right, I'm going to make a sword. Uh, oh, I did have more wood. Oh, right. Um, yeah, but I don't have anything to make. Hmm. No, we'll hang on to that. Uh, no, we won't. We'll make a chest. We need a chest. We need at least one chest to put stuff in. I need to store things. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to store... A lot of this extra stuff in there. I've got a basic sword. It's not a great sword, but it's a basic sword. And like I said, it should be daylight because you heard the zombies getting hurt. Run out of your house is always a good idea, just in case there's creepers and stuff around. You want to sort of be at speed. Now, we got unlucky. None of those have grown yet. Would have been nice if one of those two had. Um, so I'm going to climb this hill and chop down that tree because I need more wood. Because we still haven't hit charcoal. Uh, hit coal. Would have been nice if we got coal already, but we didn't. 
Um, I'm going to chop down enough trees to get eight wood. Well, nine wood actually is ideal. Uh, no, ten actually. You need ten. So if you don't get any and you want to most efficiently make charcoal, you want a total of ten wood. So there's five. I think this should be a five tall plant. It looks like it is. Is it? It is. We get ten wood. Perfect. Right. Um, I need to find sheep all of the same color, preferably. There's one white sheep down there. Let's go get him. Is that a cool caves and cliffs update cl cave? No. All right. Sorry, sheep. But I need a bed. One wool. That's disappointing. Two would have been nicer. There's another white sheep. I'm going to have to kill this one as well. Poor sheep. But yes, we need a bed. So, in typical Minecraft fashion, gonna need it. Um, normally I wouldn't be doing this. Normally I would already or wait until I found iron and then shear sheep. But, as this is a tutorial and assumes that you want to do this the easy way as opposed to the hard way, like I would just... I would kill the phantoms. I normally come above ground and just fight the phantoms um, until I can actually get a bed without killing sheep um, basically by having shears but in this case uh, for the purposes of this tutorial let's put a bed in the house so we'll do it the easy way and we'll just kill sheep early um, is that a witch no it's an abandoned portal never mind okay so one of the other things is it might be difficult to find your house if you wander off and lose it, because it is just a hole in the ground, you either have to know the coordinates of that hole and have access to those coordinates, a setting in Minecraft Bedrock. Ah, the other thing you can do is you can always just steal one from the village. Do I just steal one from the village? I could just steal a bed from the village. It's a very, very black donkey. Um. Let's go steal one from the village. It's easier. I've just killed two sheep for nothing. So I'm going to steal a villager's bed. Um, no, I'm not, because there's another sheep. So that turned up at the exact opportune moment. So, once again, RTX. Look at the water reflection. Look at uh, refraction. Look at how it bends the light appropriately and foreshortens everything that's underneath the water. And then when you go under the water, it all looks proper. And of course, you then you. It also makes it harder to see the drowned that are coming towards you, but. You know. It's alright, they're only drowned. One of them might even give me a trident. Nope. That one didn't. Ah! Fail. Yeah, see, it's hard to get them because. It's hard to see exactly where they are because of the way the water refracts properly. I didn't get a trident. That's a shame. I'd have liked a trident. Is that clay down there? That looks like clay. Some squiddies. Only regular squiddies. I didn't see any glow squid. Um, where did that sheep go? The whole point of coming over here was there was a sheep. sheep you sheepy 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 well there's a black one but that's not going to do because you can't mix colors when you make a bed they've got to all be the same color um, and I don't have any bone meal so I can't dye it white um, I could dye all the wool the color of a flower if I can find any flowers but I don't even think I've got any flowers ah here we are Should be able to use this to make dye and then I can dye all the wool the same color and then I can use all the wool sunflowers as well how pretty I can use the wool to make a bed sorry sheep it's for a good cause I promise notice I still haven't run yet so I haven't wasted any of my hunger because I 
don't have food. I will shortly have food though. Uh, because I have raw mutton. But I still haven't hit coal, so I have no way of cooking it just yet. So I'm a little way away from that. Again, look at that. Look how beautiful the water looks. Minecraft RTX is fantastic. Come on. Right. Hello, fishy. All right. Uh, now, I kind of have half lost my house, but I'm pretty sure it's over this way. So, you will lose your house if it's just a hole in the ground. So, one of the things that I like to do is to just build a marker near it as well. Um, ah, one of the trees has grown. Excellent. Those other trees up the hill are starting to decay. We might go over there and see what saplings they dropped. <gasps> it didn't just grow. It grew a beehive. That's cool. I might just leave that one there for now and we can um, mess with a beehive later. Um, so that's pure luck. That's... Uh, going to be a tutorial later on how to deal with beehives how to get your own bees what to do with bees once you have bees um that was a non-intentional bonus uh that's gonna create an entirely separate video that we will be making later right so i'll collect any saplings and any sticks that have dropped here uh again select something that isn't a tool so you're not wasting durability on said tool just knock the last leaves down real quick. I could also totally just go over to that village and loot a bed. Um, pretty much all Minecraft spawns now spawn near a village. Uh, that didn't used to be the case. You used to spend ages trying to find a seed where you spawn near a village. But villages are far more common now. They're not as far apart. Um, and every seed, I think by default, part of the world generation places a village somewhere near you. It just, they just do. Um, all right, we've wasted about half a day. And for some reason, there's now sheep right here. But that's all right. We've got, oh, got no torches. Really do need to light some more of this as well. But we'll do that in a bit. Right. Turn, use one wood to turn one wood into one charcoal. Actually, I think one wood might even make two pieces of charcoal. No, it's one piece of charcoal. Then use that piece of charcoal to turn eight logs into eight pieces of charcoal, thereby leaving us with no wood. So I'm going to have to go upstairs and chop some wood anyway, because I'm eventually going to run out of stuff. Why have I got a copper ingot? Where did that come from? Must have dropped from the drowned. That's amusing. All right, that. No. Corn flour. Blue dye. Three of them. One wool. One blue dye. Blue wool. Three blue wool, no wood. I need more wood. All right, so I'm gonna have to go up and chop another tree from somewhere. Wish the other tree had grown. There's even more beehives over there, so I probably don't need this one. Um, yeah, yeah, and the bees are gonna get angry if I chop their tree down. So let's not do it. We'll go and get this tree instead. Another long walk. But I don't have enough wood. I have the 10 wood that I needed to make the 8 charcoal so that I can have enough torches to see me through for the next bit, which will actually be coming as a separate video. Right, I'm kind of wasting my tool doing that, but oh well. Right, another 4 wood. That will suffice. Let's knock down all the leaves real quick because it's getting dark and I'm not going to be out here for long enough to find out where the saplings drop. And I want any saplings that drop, and maybe any apples. Apples aren't as useful just yet. These sticks are kind of useful. Yeah, so there is some slight graphical things with this um, RTX patch. I'm not sure if that's actually the implementation of ray tracing, um, or whether it's to do with this particular normals patch. But yeah, there's some, some weird artifacts that occasionally appear. But it's mostly okay. Um, and it still looks better than regular Minecraft. Um, now you can achieve this effect. I am going to run now because it's getting dark. 
I just need to get home real quick. Um, and because there's a creeper, there's another creeper. Safe. And that should be eight charcoal. Perfect. Um, I've got a bunch of sticks. I'm going to turn all those sticks into torches because I need some torches. So, for example, that one, that one, and that one to make the room look prettier. Excellent. Put any extra crap that I don't need currently. Oops, I'll keep that charcoal on me until I actually need it. I could cook that, but I'm, I'm going to need the torches more than anything else, so I'm not going to cook it right now. Um, right, these oak logs needs to be turned into oak planks, which can then turn into a blue bed. Place there and sleep for your first night. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the basis of my Minecraft house. One nine by nine room with a crafting table, a furnace, some chests. I normally actually have a double chest there and a double chest there. And one will be for um, building blocks and one will be for everything else. And then I will start making rooms off this basic nine by nine room by using these three by three spaces as doors into another nine by nine room. But I will be showing you that in the second video when I start building a tree farm. But yes, the basis of a Minecraft house. Um, the other thing I would recommend doing is putting extra torches in here just because it's pretty dark. Um, also, being careful when you come above ground because there might be creepers about. Always run at creepers and hit them and then run away backwards. Uh, it increases your knockback far enough that the creeper doesn't actually explode. I also hate the way the creeper noise persists well after the creeper's dead because you can't... You're always worried there's another creeper that snuck up behind you while you were busy killing this first creeper. It's never the case, but it always sounds like it is. Um, you can increase your damage even further by jumping, but then you're at risk of the creeper exploding because it's harder to backpedal. All right, and there's also a bit of zombie flesh up here, which we'll grab too, just because... Anything else cool around the place? I was wondering if I wasn't going to be able to see maybe some coal on the cliff side. It doesn't look like there is. Maybe let's go over here and have a look. This is the Caves and Cliffs update. There should be a big cave somewhere. I haven't actually found one. Um, even when I was running around in creative trying to see, I didn't actually see one. No. No, no visible coal. Sometimes there's just a visible coal scene. Oh, yes. Uh, the final little piece some way of marking your house so that you can find it if you can't remember where it is and you don't have something convenient like I've got that handy tree that grew a beehive um, that's what makes it relatively easy to find stand in front of your house prepare to take some your first amount of damage for the game if you're like me build yourself a nice big stone pillar and then jump off it it's going to hurt there's little you can do about it. Um, I'm going to move this over a little bit because it's a bit too close to that one. Let's put it there. Those bees are happy because there's flowers right near them. Um, I could even make a third bee because that's the maximum that you can fit in a hive. So let's make there, there be three bees. That hive's already full. Um, we'll deal with that, like I said, in another video. Um, putting a few torches in here is a matter of deciding where you want them to go. Um, I'm actually going to move that one up and put one on either side just because. But then on the way up, I'm going to do alternating ones like this. Uh, probably further apart than that. Yep, that's about right. And then I'm going to put a couple here just on the corners because it makes it easier to see the house. Um, you can also put ones on the pillar, but I'm not going to bother doing that right now. All right. So um, there's supposed to be a way that you could see your character. What was it? F10? No, I can't remember. Anyway, there's a way to see your character not from third person. Aha, uh -huh, wait. It's in settings, isn't it? Blah, 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 blah. Video third person front look um, this skin is just a skin that was free for Halloween so if you like it you, you should have 
got it during Halloween. It's a shame if you didn't. They were cool and they were free. Um, but yeah, that is going to do it for this video, guys. Oh, hello, cow. Let's come over to say hello. Um, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if this is one of the ways that you would like to make a house, follow this tutorial. Um, if you don't, don't. Not everyone does. But one of my basic principles for why I do this is you're going to dig a hole to get enough materials to build a house. You might as well make your starting house, especially for the first few nights, in that hole. I now have a ton of cobblestone that I can use for other projects. I can now build a proper above ground house if I want. I generally don't. I tend to just keep living in the hole because I don't need an above ground house. I've got an underground house. Um, in the next videos, I will be showing you how to turn your below ground house into a place that you need never leave by providing food and trees. So you can have infinite tools and infinite, uh, uh, you don't die from hunger while living underground forever. You can still come above ground. You don't have to stay underground. It's just that you can stay below ground. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, um, I'm going to jump to this. If you did enjoy this video, uh, like, subscribe, comment, comment especially. Um, let me know what you thought of it. Do you think living underground is a stupid idea? Do you think it's a good idea and you've never thought of it? Do you do the exact same thing? Let me know. Uh, if you'd like to catch one of my live shows, hit that notification bell. Or if you just want to know when I upload a new video, for example, the next video in this series, um, it is a bit random when I go live, so the notification bell is highly recommended. Also, on the banner you can of my channel, you can find my link to my Twitch channel. If you'd like to watch live over on Twitch, go and click there. On my Twitch channel, you can find links to this channel. However you want to watch, do so. I do hope you enjoy. Other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.